Hi, my name is Leslie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In every couple of weeks, I have this new niche fashion obsession that I can't stop thinking of. Right now, it's the European summer style and in this video, I'm going to channel that little obsession of mine by putting together outfits inspired by that whole European summer type of vibe. Since I couldn't really find any specific pieces that you have to have to embody the style, let's quickly just discuss the vibe I'm trying to go for today. I broke it down into four adjectives. Relax, light slash breezy, playful, and coastal. And since I'm not going anywhere, we're near Europe this summer. I'm just going to be embodying this summer in Positano, Italy, going shopping, walking around the cobblestone slash south of France, chilling type of vibe in outfits to the best of my abilities. If you want to see these European summer inspired outfits, please keep on watching. I kept the first outfit really boring and basic. I'm just wearing this navy blue peplum top with white tailored shorts and this Rufia little mini bag I got from my mom's closet. This is really basic, but I feel like each element just plays into that vibe. This is definitely an outfit I see people wear around campus at school, but adding the Rufia tote and wearing little kitten heels with it just made it more elevated, made it more of a European summer type of relaxed vibe. For the next outfit, I'm just wearing this matching set with a tube top, a crocheted tote bag, and this bucket hat with sandals. I don't know how I feel about me in hats. I'm conflicted about them. I feel like I look kind of weird. So here's the outfit without the hat. Really basic look. Low-key looks like PJs, but I feel like that just gives it that relaxed vibe. This little crocheted bag also really fits into that relaxed vibe. If you watch any of my other lookbook videos, you know that I love a good matching set because I feel like you could style it in different ways. So for the next outfit, I decided to style it in a more refined way. Yes, peep that transition. Here, I'm just wearing the top buttoned up. I switched the shorts to the white shorts from the first outfit, and I'm wearing this saddle bag with it as opposed to the tote bag, which was more relaxed. I feel like this is just a little bit more refined, and even if I think I kind of look like a frat boy on the way to a frat party in business casual attire, I still really like it, and I see a lot of outfits like this, especially with a striped blue button down. Here, I'm just wearing a green one, switching it up a little bit. This next outfit is a little girlier than the last two. Here, I'm just wearing this floral ruffled dress with this Rafia looking bag. I'm pretty sure this bag is made of like recycled paper or something like that, but it kind of looks like Rafia. I see a lot of girlies wearing floral during the summertime in Europe. I just really like it. The ruffles also add to that really fun, playful vibe. And of course, I had to add this little Rafia looking bag because that's just the vibe we're going for. I'm just wearing it with white kitten heels and the before anyone says anything, I know that you probably can't wear kitten heels in Europe because of the cobblestone and everything, but I'm just putting together outfits for the vibe. Just switch them up based on what you need and where you're going. I love a good floral dress, and this one I feel like is just a perfect one for the daytime, for frolicking around the fields. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but yes. This next outfit is a little funkier, again with the ruffles. This time I'm wearing a long skirt with a tube top and the saddlebag again. I'm kind of conflicted about this top. I'm super iffy about the bell sleeves, but I feel like it does play into that whole playful vibe. I see a lot of the European summer girlies wear long skirts with tube tops that aren't cropped. I feel like this top could also make the perfect little summer cover-up. Funky outfit, pretty trendy, but yeah. Okay, this next outfit is kind of just like a pink version of the first outfit, but I made this one slightly dressier by wearing black shorts and this black moon bag. Really basic again. This time I'm wearing it with black heels. I'm predictable like that, but still super relaxed, still super light and breezy, so super summery. I love the ribbon detail in the back, and I would usually pair this shade of pink with like white or lighter colors. So here I played around with pairing it with black instead. So yeah, definitely a summer staple outfit you could wear in many different variations. For this next outfit, I kept it super basic and I have two different bag options for like two different occasions. So I'm gonna show you both of them. First bag is just this sling bag. It's the bag from the first outfit. I just put the crossbody strap on it and wore it crossbody to just switch it up and make it just more practical of an outfit. I'm wearing the most basic outfit ever, a white t-shirt and wide leg pants, but I feel like that is quintessentially very European summer. The bag being crossbody just makes it a lot more practical 
useful for traveling and stuff like that and the second bag option is just this YSL clutch I feel like you could wear this for a dressier event like a brunch or even an evening type of moment I don't really know but yeah just trying to show how versatile it is next outfit i am wearing a button down once again i feel like at this point you can tell that there are just a few pieces you need to kind of achieve the look this time i'm wearing it with striped shorts again but in a different variation this one is a lot more colorful and i'm wearing it with a little vintage gucci jackie i see a lot of cute funky vintage bags on pinterest that totally give off that european summer vibe and i just love it i feel like this bag matches one of the colors on the stripes so that just kind of ties everything together i'm wearing it with these pink heels keeping it super candy colored and pastel while still keeping it very european summer with a lot of beige this time instead of tucking in the button down or wearing it open i decided to tie it and i know that my tie job isn't super clean here like it's kind of messy but hey we're going for that relaxed vibe anyway just kidding i'm just kind of making excuses for my lousy tie job i feel like it's a popular saying that like every girl needs a little black dress but i think that for the summertime every girl needs a little white dress so this is my little white dress the straps are kind of long on me so they low-key kind of fall off i just paired it with a bag made out of recycled paper keeping it really basic i've actually worn this outfit to the beach and i feel like you can dress it up and down depending on the accessories you wear it with what you layer with it the next outfit is one of my favorites. I wore something similar to this to the beach as well, but with a long skirt. In this video, I'm wearing it with a pair of linen pants for an even more comfortable, relaxed look. I'm just wearing this scarf top. Yes, this is quite literally a silk scarf. I just tied it around to make it look like a top. You could like adjust the length and everything, so I love it. Like literally anyone can wear it. Wide leg linen pants. I have an affinity for light colored pants, so that's that. And of course, this little bag that I wear in almost every outfit in this video. This next outfit is another floral dress. This time, the one I'm wearing is pink. It has long sleeves. It's giving off a very Love Shack fancy type of vibe, and I love it. I feel like this one is a lot dressier than the other one. You could wear this to like a dinner or something like that. I did wear it to a dinner, actually. And I feel like it gives off that single, child-free aunt type of vibe, and I like it. It's still really youthful because it is still a mini dress, and there's a cutout in the front, but it still has that rich aunt type of vibe, which we are always going for. For the next outfit, I'm really playing with silhouettes here. I'm wearing this polka dot peplum top. And I'd usually pair this with a pair of trousers or shorts to kind of balance it out. But here, I'm wearing it with a long skirt because I am on a mission to turn into a long skirt really. I've been into long skirts recently and I feel like this really messes up my proportions. It makes my proportions look kind of funky. But someone once said that if your outfit isn't slightly mismatched, then it isn't a good outfit. So I guess by that definition, this is a good outfit. It's a good outfit. I'm just not used to these proportions on myself. Last but not the least is this all white outfit with this sheer crochet knitted looking button down over it. I feel like this is the perfect daytime type of outfit. I feel like a lot of Filipino brands have this shirt and they sell for really expensive but I'm proud to say that I thrifted this for like less than 500 pesos. Love that for me. I like how the cream on the button down looks with the white on the entire outfit. I feel like it really softens the look. Wearing it with the shoulder bag, I've worn like five different times in this video really basic really comfy everything is super light and breezy definitely one of my favorites in this video as well that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe follow me on instagram at alisalian and on tiktok at alisa's vids i hope you can use these outfits as inspo for your next summer trip and yeah thanks for watching bye